Learn more at flashforwardsites.com. Welcome to Networking Arizona with host Carol Blonder. You'll hear interviews with businesses located throughout the valley. Networking, it makes a difference. If I traded it Welcome to the show, everyone. I am so excited to be here today. With uh, I got a lot of people that have been on my show a lot. I got a lot of people who are newbies here, so we got a lot of stuff going on here with networking with all you people out there that are listening. We're live on Facebook, so hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to be sharing the show a little bit later today as well. My first guest has been on with me many, many, many times, and I love when I have her on because one of the things that she likes to do is educate people on something that people don't really like to talk about very much much. I have with me Sandy Greenlee, and she's the owner of Angels Cremation and Burial. Welcome back to the show. You have to tell people a little bit about, you know, your, well, first of all, about your services that you offer, but also what makes you different. I want to talk a little bit about that. Well, we are a very small mortuary, but we do a large volume of people, and it's mostly because we serve people. We educate people. I had an employer one time that said, you convince people not to buy what they want, and I said, no, I educate people so they only buy what they want, not what they think they want. And so that is probably the thing that stands out the most about us, is we really want people to be educated and make choices and be able to feel good about what they're doing. Unfortunately, it's a really bad situation when I meet people. It's not a happy day. It's usually a really sad, tearful day. And so we want to make lemonade out of lemons. Right. Let me, let's talk about making lemonade out of lemons because what it's all about for you, and you're here to really educate people because you've been through it. You know what you walk their talk, number one, and you deal with people on a daily basis that go through something like this. It's really all about preparation and being, and planning. Well, and no matter how how much you plan, there's always going to be something that falls through the cracks, but yes, planning. You know, death is the one thing that nobody wants to talk about. It's the one thing that's guaranteed that's going to happen to you in life. And so if you're prepared, it's a lot easier. And asking questions, talking about it, and being silent is not going to make it go away. And the sad thing is, is people who don't talk about it and who don't think about it are often the ones that get taken advantage of. They're the ones that are so emotional because when they go in, the funeral people recognize it and they say, oh, you want to buy this and oh, this will make you feel better. And oh, you want to do this. And oh, you haven't thought about doing that. That'll really make you feel a lot better. You know what I and love? And so when you you're prepared... You know what you're doing. What I love what you say sometimes, which I can't even, I've, I've never heard anyone say something like this, but it's wonderful. And this is what makes her so real and makes her different. When somebody wants to buy a very expensive casket, you say to them, do you really want to look at that very expensive ca- uh, casket for like, what, 30 minutes? Oh, and usually about it, two hours. Oh, okay, two hours. But still, a very expensive one costs about how much? Well, at my mortuary, the most expensive casket I have is $5,000. And I don't think I've ever sold one for over $2,500. If you take $2,500, divide that by three hours, you're going to see it. That's $800 plus an hour to look at it. Yeah. And so if you have the money to do that, that's great. If you don't have the money to do that, that's really sad. Yeah, you don't need and to. So, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do. It's not what you do. It's how you feel about what you do. Oh, well, that's awesome what you just said there. It is. It's not what you do. It's how you feel about what you do. When you work with people, you do free consultations with them. They call in. They talk to you. They go to you. And they sit down with you. And you help them through the process of being prepared. Yes, we do. We help you to decide whether you want to do a cremation, a burial, a science donation. We can do any, every mortuary in the state of Arizona does everything. The reason our name has cremation is because 70% to 75% of Arizona does cremation. And so it's like that with, that's a key word when people are looking, when people are Googling or looking for something. Right. But and everybody I, does everything. Right. Every, all of them. But each individual mortuary is different. 
different. Oh, yes, definitely different. Some are, I mean, you can do a, what's called a direct cremation. Our price is $580. You can pay as much as $3,500. And I just had a lady in yesterday, and she said, what's the difference? You seem like you have it all together. And I said, well, we don't have Berber carpet. We don't have crystal chandeliers. And we do not have a great big beautiful yard of grass, which we have to pay somebody to take care of. Our building is clean. It is neat. It's concise. And it is very condensed. And it's probably the better way to go when you're dealing with money because everybody has to make money and that's how they do that. So the best thing to do is to check them out on their website. It's angelscremationandburial.com. You can also call her direct. The phone number is 480-962-6435, which is 96 Angel. And she'll talk to you and tell you a little bit about, you know, what what to expect and what you should think about. And those are the things that I want to talk about now, if that's okay with you. That's fine. We're going to talk about cremation for just a little bit because that's what you brought up for right now. Uh, does somebody who gets cremated, this is things that they want to know. Do I go in with one person, me, myself? Or do I, am I going in there with a bunch of people? What's it like? You're only there by yourself for several reasons. Number one, it's against the law to cremate more than one person at a time. And number two, unless you're really tiny, there's not room in the retort for more than one person. And so, therefore, you have to be cremated alone. But the most important thing to know about cremation is, is who signs for the cremation authority. That is the key to everything. Because if you don't have a legal next of kin, or your legal next of kin is somebody that's estranged from you, or somebody that doesn't like like you, then you're going to be hanging out in the cooler for 15 days. That's what I can't, the thought of it, the thought of it makes me so upset. Well, it makes me sad because even lawyers who charge lots of money to do this beautiful trust have everything in it. They do everything about all your goods, all your money, all your everything, all your health, but they forget about what's going to happen to you the minute you die until the, everything starts to being d dissolved with the trust. So if you want to be cremated, you need to follow the rules and figure out, sign for yourself, number one, that's the best plan. And you go to the Attorney General's website. The paper's right there. It's free. It doesn't cost anything except going to the notary. And if you're anywhere near me, we notarize for free. Their number to call, 480-962-6435. It's 96 Angel. The website, I love your website because, again, that website you've made it super simple for people to understand and there's they can click on things and see where to get things it's i love the way that you've done that it's angels cremation and burial.com okay keeping on the theme of right now for for cremation okay um for prices you said that a cremation is a cremation a cremation no matter what so really price can differ but it really doesn't matter no because every cremation consists of picking up the loved one doing all the paperwork having them cremated and returning the cremains there is not any difference with the direct cremation now if you're having a service or you're having a, a you know a traditional funeral and then cremation there's a lot of differences there in that what is offered what can be provided but a direct cremation is about as simple as you can get and nothing changes so let me ask you this of 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 uh difference uh i'm sorry for people who have different cem cemeteries are all cemeteries alike? No, they're just like mortuaries. They all have different prices. They have different conditions. They have different rulings. Some of them will let you be there when they lower. Some of them won't let you be there when they lower. Some of you, some of them, you have to have a headstone as soon as you bury. Some of them, you don't. So it's all. It's just at learning to ask questions. Don't let them guide you. You guide them. Ask the questions you need answers to. When my son died and we were taking him home to Wyoming, I asked the mortuary three times, can I take my son home to Wyoming myself? And I got the same answer. Well, that's not a good idea. Well, that's probably not the best plan. Well, you know, you might kind of want to consider, and it's like, would you just answer my question? Can I take my son home in a casket? And they said, well, you can, but it's not a good idea. Well, you know, for me, it was a really good idea. We were very poor. My, my brother was there with his pickup truck with a camper on the back. We put him in the camper. We took him home. Probably saved me about two or $3,000 because in Wyoming, the closest airport is Denver, Colorado. And at that time, they were charging $2 a mile. And it's probably 200 miles, 250 miles, I don't know. It's a three-hour drive, so however long that works out. 
And so, you know, you have to be, have to ask questions. And you have to make sure you get the answers you want. And when you're emotional, you usually won't do that. So ask questions in advance. So you have the answers. I'll tell you something. This is what makes her different. And you can hear it in her passion. You can hear it right in her voice. The number to call them directly, it is 480-962-6435. Check them out. It's angelscremationandburial.com. 